Hello, my name is Vortex Warp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video of Minecraft Concepts. And today what I have is a comparatorless item sorter. Now the reason why you would want one of these is if in a skyblock world, um, you want to create an item sorter. Now I've been playing some skyblock recently, and I thought at some point I'm going to need an item sorter. I'm not quite there yet, but when I do get there, I will need an item sorter. And of course there's no quartz in the nether. Um, and we of course need quartz um, to create comparators so I need to create an item sorter that doesn't rely on comparators and every single item sorter apart from the really old original ones um, that rely on item stacking that I've found so far don't seem to work for this so what I've created is a very uh, basic system for doing this now I say basic because it's not really um, it, it doesn't really work uh it works 100 percent of the time but it can only take a slow input of items um so i'll show you in action and then i can explain how it works afterwards i've hooked up two buttons here to dispensers so we can shoot out two different types of items cauldrons and redstone blocks and uh we will get the cauldrons in this chest and the redstone blocks in this chest so i'm going to hit this button and what we will see dispensed is a redstone block and it will make its way into the second chest here, as you can see, that's in block. Um, and if we hit the other button, we'll get a cauldron and it will make its way into the first chest here. There's our cauldron and it will work reliably. Um, now, this item hop will always have 60 and then that many items there. As long as the item stream isn't too far. So as you can see, it will work reliably. We've we'll got ourselves a second cauldron there. And you actually see that the second cauldron appears here before the other one falls in. Uh, and that's because um, the way this works is using a mechanic here. So what I've got is a pressure plate on my stream that activates here when an item goes over it and here when an item goes over it. So what will happen is whenever an item comes into the stream, uh, after a delay, it will try to unpower this torch, which will retract this piston, unlocking this hopper, and allowing one item to come out of here. Now, if it's a cauldron, the, the hopper, the item will get sucked up into this hopper um, and then it will unlock, allowing it to go filter down into this chest. So it effectively sorted out the cauldron. But if, if it is not a cauldron, it will pass over and it will activate this pressure plate, which powers this piston and keeps it extended so the hopper doesn't unlock meaning that there's always uh, 60 items and this many cauldrons inside the hopper. So that's the way it works. But obviously, if, um, an, I if an item comes over this like so, um, if an item runs over the system um, and before it's reached the other end, another item runs over, uh, the system can get a little confused. So as you can see, we've got three in there, and two in there, and that's because I activated the pressure plate um, myself so i'm gonna to have to put one in here so obviously you can't have items going the other way or landing on this pressure plate uh but if i activate it in quick succession so like this and then like this and like this and like this and like this uh you will see that it starts to break and we end up with uh in this case 61 items in this cauldron and of course this is just a hopper to pick up items or it was until i destroyed it uh, like so <laughs> so yeah i've also got the items pushed against this chest here so that uh they're always over the hop without it being slowed down and the items i've used i haven't used packed ice beneath here because in skyblock we also can't have packed ice but you could use packed ice there and then adjust the timings to make this be able to uh, accept a faster stream of items and actually have the pressure plates completely either side of the hoppers but that's the item sorter. It works, but it's still a work in progress and a concept, hence why it's in this series. So if you've enjoyed it or have any more questions or suggestions, leave it in the comments below and leave a like on the video, as well as subscribing, because it really helps. Thanks for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed, do all those things, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.